Welcome, folks, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. I'm your host, Seishu, and today I'm speaking with a friend of mine who's appeared here before on Tiffin Cast, and his name is Chris Scott. He's the owner of Preveal and now the proud owner of Salesographer, which uh, we're going to talk about because, you know, it's intriguing that he's uh, changed hands from uh, its previous owner, Spencer Borup. And Chris, thanks for joining me, man. Thanks. Appreciate being here, man. Uh, so let's start start off with uh, Spencer. Um, you know, Spencer got busy with MagMod and uh, certainly wanted to do things with that uh, new brand and new product, uh, and it's, that took off like a rocket. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, I'm no I'm no stranger to Salesographer because I was one of the probably the first ones to even see it when he launched it, and I was uh, just amazed by how rich in content and value it was back then. Of course, the price point was a little high, uh, and I felt, okay, well, let's see how it goes. But what what is it that motivated you uh, to, to buy or to invest in a salesographer? Yeah, so um, I, I think similar to you, we were one of the first people to see it. I think we actually got maybe got a beta copy of it, um, and uh, and we loved it. Uh, it's It fits so well with the process that Adrian and I use uh, to to sell our work that it that it was just uh, it was funny when I was reading it. I, I remember we were on a vacation for something, going somewhere, and uh, I read it and watched the videos on the plane. and uh, And Adrian ended up taking the headphone and sticking it in her ear, sitting next to me and and listening. and And almost every single point he made, we were like, "We do that too. We do that too." So it, it dovetailed so well with. Not only with what we were doing in our photography businesses, but what we built, the uh, kind of the system that we built Perveal around. It's the system that we were using in our businesses when we built Perveal, and it and and so much of that system is reflected in in the decisions that we made uh, on Perveal. So when uh, when Spencer contacted me, he he kind of uh, this was actually only a, still only a handful of weeks ago contacted me and said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about doing something crazy with Salesographer. And uh, he didn't really know exactly what he wanted to do. He was talking about throwing it out there at, at a pretty low price point. Um, and I just kind of threw it out there sort of as a joke. Like, you should just sell it to me, you know. And he's, <laughs> yeah, like, okay. he's like, would you buy it? I'm like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd buy it, you know. So we, we worked out a deal, and, uh, and I think it was a win-win for everybody. I, I'm thrilled to have it now. Uh, as a part of of kind of the Perveal family, because of what I said, it fits so well with what with how we built Perveal and how we want people to be using Perveal. Uh, I kind of joke around that if Perveal is the bread and butter of somebody's uh, business of their sales process, then this is the recipe. This is this is what shows them how to put it into place and uh, and how much of what to put in. It's it's a phenomenal. Uh, uh, resource and I'm really really thrilled to have it and and uh, you know we're, we're just glad to be able to get out in front of more people like you said you know Spencer Spencer I think uh, released Salesographer and then maybe five or six weeks later started the Kickstarter for uh, for Magmod and that I think he was trying to re raise thirty thirty five thousand dollars and raise somewhere around eighty three billion or something like that I don't <laughs> know. and it uh, and like you said it took over his life so he he was just yeah. not able to to give yeah. sales offer for the love that, that it deserved. And, and we're really glad to be able to do that. And not only to do that, but to be able to already put it in front of an audience that, that can use it and, right. and it works very well for them. So let's break uh, salesographer down for those <laughs> who probably don't know what salesographer is. Um, uh, tell us what can one expect when someone invests in salesographer? First of all, yeah. how, what is the price point of salesographer now? Cause I remember it was, North of three hundred dollars, I think. When, yeah, when Spencer think, was I trying think to Spencer sell it, Spencer yeah. launched it at three eighty seven, right? Uh, and it was worth every penny of. Oh, that. most definitely I, I not. Definitely not. Yeah, saying anything right. uh, bad about the price point that he launched it at. Absolutely, we yeah. wanted to bring it in at a different uh, at a different price point. Uh, right now, it's at one twenty nine. Okay. Um, and basically, what you're getting is a uh, a course that's going to walk you through how to price package. And sell your photography, and to do that without feeling like a, a d bag, uh, it's uh, it 
It's true. You know, I mean, to put like, it bluntly, like, yeah. Sorry, I'll sure. put it a different way. To do it without feeling like a salesman, to, without yeah. feeling salesy. You know, we hear right. that all the time, and right. it's one of the things that we heard a bunch um, with uh, with Preveal is people saying, you know, I want to do in person sales. I want to use this tool, but I just don't know how to sell, or I just don't want to feel salesy. And I get that too, and and I I hate that. And that's what I love about this system. Like I said, it's the one that we used. And uh, it's, that's why I'm really glad uh, to be able to put it out there. So basically, it's going to walk you through how to, uh, how to price it, how to package it. And by package it, I don't mean like put it in a box with pretty bows and all of that. It's, it's how to build packages that make sense for your bottom line uh, and that make sense uh, in relation to other packages. So whether that's wedding photography packages or... Uh, even when you're just talking about pricing your albums, if you maybe have four albums, it'll it'll kind of tell you how uh, you should build those packages. And then it also goes into uh, into detail the um, the three step sales process. It's really I, I kind of call it a three plus one step sales process, which is um, a planning meeting, the session itself, and then the uh, the sales meeting. And then that plus one is all of the stuff that you do before that to prepare somebody to hire you and that's that's uh setting expectations on your website setting expectations through all your correspondence with somebody all of those things i think are actually a step in the process they're just not one that somebody sees as a physical step or as a as a de delineated step indeed uh so you've got you've got the the ebook which uh, sort of outlines every one of these steps uh yep. and i believe spencer has a series of videos that go along with it as yep. well uh that sort of walk you through this. So for those who aren't very good uh, or natural readers, I guess it makes more sense to watch the videos and, and listen to him and take notes. Um, and I think one of the things that really attracted me to salesographer was, you know, given a resource, something like this, uh, even if the videos were so helpful, uh, I still probably had questions. And one of the things that it had that, you know, was awesome was that there was a private Facebook community that one could turn to and ask questions there because everyone, you know, what's awesome is that everyone's business is so different. Even though they, we all feel like we're photographers, I feel like the circumstances can be so different that uh, to be to be able to ask questions that are pertinent to just your unique situation and then have this community just sort of jump in and say, hey, no, let's try and do this instead. Yeah. It's yeah. fantastic. So have you taken over the private community as well? Yeah, we've at this point we have. He's handed the entire Everything. brand okay. over to us. Oh, wow. Uh, Spencer is still very, very much an active part of it, and that'll never change, um, because he he knows this stuff inside and out. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. So, and he knows that community already. You know, he's already a part of that community. We've been a part of it. We interact on it. We're obviously interacting a lot more now. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's it's our baby now, and uh, so. Uh, I think that you know what you what you bring up there is actually a really good point too. So that Facebook group, so you get the videos, you get the ebook, you get a handful of other things. You get a pricing uh, a pricing list, basically his price guide that he shows to his clients. Um, you get a sales form, um, and of course, I'm going to blank on the last thing. Oh, the consultation form. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it's my product. No big deal. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm cheating here. I'm looking at your website. Buddy. Yeah, that is cheating. Yeah. Uh, so you get those and then you also get access to this Facebook group, which has been great to see um, right. kind of revived also right. uh, with the changing of the guard here. Um, right. So we're, we're seeing new life breathed into that. And, uh, and like you said, just a lot of people who really want to help other people. And I think that there's something really cool about it because people buy this and they say, hey, you know what? I'm going to give this shot. And it comes with a, a money back guarantee. So I think a lot of people buy it and they're like, I'll give it a shot. When it doesn't work, I'll just ask for my money back. And they, they do it. They do the work. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, this is not a get rich quick thing. Yep. This is work. Yep. You know, and it's worked for me. It. It's worked yeah. for me. Yeah. It's work. Yep. And, but if you do it, it works. And I think that a lot of people are in this situation where they, they apply it. They, they go to their first sales meeting and they're like, oh my God, this worked. Yeah. Uh, and then they jump in and they're excited to talk to other people about it. So when, when people start asking those questions, like, oh, I know, I, I dealt with that too. This is what I did. And, and it's, there's something really exciting about 
being able to help someone else through those steps. And, you know, I mean, essentially that's why Adrian and I have built what we've built and bought what we've bought is we ran a very successful wedding and portrait studio. And, uh, we, we started telling people how we were doing that. And there was something really cool about doing that. And then that worked its way into building Prevail, which helps people do that. And then buying sales autographer, which helps more people do that. And it's, there's something very cool about, about helping the industry that we love and, and, and in turn, uh, you know, seeing other people help the industry that they love. Definitely. And, you know, this whole idea of, oh, well, my competition is in there and blah, blah, blah. When you start applying stuff like this, mm -hmm. it becomes a lot less about the products that you're selling and the this and the that. And it's the service that you're providing that no one else can provide. So exactly, it, it's this whole rising tide floating all boats thing. And it's, and it's fantastic to be a part of a community like that. Indeed. Uh, you own Preview. Now you own Salesographer. Uh, you've talked a little bit about how they complement each other. What are your goals in terms of finding some synergies between the two and integrating them and, and being able to help, you know, Preview owners to actually tap into this and say, hey, you know, you know now we know how to do this, uh, this process and how to proceed next to the, the, the next step, which is, you know, really presenting the pictures and the images and, and, and say, hey, clients yeah. check it out you know here yeah. are the here are the image what is how are you what are you thinking about integration yeah so you know i think uh the the first thing we'll probably want to always make sure that we're doing is 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 never building either one um so that you have to have the other one basically i don't want anyone to ever feel like oh to buy salesographer i have to have preveal or to use preveal i have to have salesographer they're two different products but they do complement each other so well. And now that we own them both, we do want there to be um, some more tighter integration there. So uh, there, we can kind of do that on both sides, I think. Um, you know, the easiest one is building in some things to Salesographer. I don't know that we'll do, um, we're not going to try to like edit his videos or anything because honestly, it would just be a giant pain. We might add some addendum videos, but we'll definitely add some stuff to the ebook that kind of explains, hey, you know what, it'll be, it'll be kind of an, an afterthought that's, if you're a Preveal user, here are things that you can do with this process to tie this straight into what you're already doing with Preveal. That's fantastic. Um, so, you know, some stuff there. Um, and then, uh, I, can't, I can't be quoted on some of this, but uh, we've talked about even trying to, uh, to add Salesographer as just an in-app sale inside Preveal. Which I think could be cool, except then I got to give Apple a pretty huge split. Uh, so not thrilled about that idea. Right. Uh, right. But I do like uh, making it really, really easily accessible. Um, and then I think on the Preveal side, um, it really opens the door for us to do all the things that we've really wanted to do with it. Uh, now that we can say, hey, you know what? All of us are on the same page as far as a sales process goes. Because, you know, there are a lot of things that, that as we made decisions, as we were building features and all of that, there were a lot of things that we said, you know what, that's unique to our process. Uh, and while we think it's the best process, we can't force that on anybody. And, and obviously, we'll never really force anything on anybody. But having sales autographer there and having it in front of the same community puts all of us on the same page. And for us to be able to, to start looking at features that support the sales autographer process uh, even tighter is really cool for us because uh, now we can start saying, hey, you know what? Yeah, everybody, there's a lot more people who do this now. Uh, and it makes sense now for people to, you know, for some of those things to be in there. I can't tell you exactly what some of those would be because I don't want people to send me emails next week <laughs> asking when it's going to be built. But uh, Yeah, but, but it's, it is interesting how you are uh, almost, uh, uh, you know, data mining in a way, uh, f figuring out what... Uh, sort of launches people's boats in, in sales geographer and then possibly building those things back into preview. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's just it's just really a very smart way of doing business. Um, what well, one of the the other things I think you're offering uh, that's probably needs to be mentioned because you are this is an amazing uh, uh, amazing lab. Uh, it's Pro DPI. You're giving away a fifty dollar gift card to Pro DPI. Man, I love Pro DPI. Mm -hmm. I love the people there, and I I mean. I tell you, if you get sales and you get this fifty dollar 
you know, gift certificate or gift card, you should really use the card. I mean, a lot of people buy get it, get cards and, and, and sort of forget about it. But oh, yeah. uh, ProDepot is just a phenomenal lab, and I really, really respect what they're doing. So uh, that said, uh, th this is huge. I mean, it's a huge download. I'm looking at your website. It says over one gigabyte of stuff it's that's giant. coming at you. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, there's so many, so many products out there, Scott, uh, Chris. Um, I just call you Scott. Uh, all the time man Chris Scott Scott Chris <laughs> uh, it's late <laughs> uh, forgive me uh, there's so many products out there uh, that that promise so much and deliver very little you know I, and I, 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 I'm just so guilty of being suckered into buying some of this stuff uh, this is from my perspective not one of them because it has showed me the money I mean literally I'm not just flattering you or, or or trying to convince anybody listening in that they should buy a sales offer because that's really up to them but it's worked for me and I use a, a lot I mean some of it I've adapted to my own business but I use a yeah, lot right. of what Spencer's mentions in his videos um, and it's amazing I, I mean why wouldn't anybody want to create a sustainable thriving business uh, when, they, when they have the resources like this so first of all thank you so there's a question here. I just want to say thanks to you, buddy. Um, thanks for thanks for for jumping in and, and uh, reviving, I guess, Silzographer and, and making sure that more people get their hands on it. Um, yeah. I don't think I have any other questions for you, buddy. Uh, that was uh, easy. You know, it was an easy conversation about Silzographer. I was just curious about how and why you know you decided to jump in and get Silzographer as part of your. Yeah part of your realm i guess uh <laughs> as, <laughs> the empire, right? the empire. <laughs> indeed indeed um so thanks a lot buddy yeah man i appreciate you having me i'll talk to you soon sounds good take care take care bye mm -hmm.